Hello, Patriots. I'm Lee Watts, and this is Patriot Point, your source for Kentucky news and analysis from a conservative Christian and common sense point of view. Well, the election time is finally here. We've been talking about it for months, the issues, the candidates, the offices, and this coming Tuesday, May the 16th, is election day. I hope that you will go out there and do your civic duty and vote. It's expected only 15% of Kentuckians are going to be participating in this uh, election cycle, which means when you vote, your vote is going to have a bigger voice than normal because uh, they're expecting such low voter, voter turnout. Uh, it's been said before very correctly that government belongs to those who show up. So make sure you show up on election day. Uh, and I don't encourage you to vote early either. That's the easiest way they can mess with your vote. If at all possible, I encourage you to vote on election day. Now we've had a last bit of news that's coming up from some of the candidates that are running for different offices uh, on taking stands on some issues that we've been talking about here on Patriot Point. Uh, let me give you some of the updates on this. For the last three weeks, we've been talking about how the courts have finally, after three years, issued a penalty to Andy Bashir for closing down churches illegally on Easter Sunday, and he had to pay uh, $270,000. Well, we encourage a lot of you to contact uh, those people in office who uh, would take care of this and say, listen, it's not fair that Andy Bashir should get to use our tax money to pay us for his fine because he broke the law. Uh, so we've been encouraging Kentuckians to contact the state auditor who checks the books, the Kentucky attorney general who can actually prosecute this, and the Kentucky treasurer who writes the checks. Uh, well, we've seen some of them have come out and make a stand on this. Uh, one of them is the Kentucky state auditor. The state auditor is the person who checks all the books and says if the money is being spent legally or illegally. And the state auditor is also one of our candidates for governor. His name is Mike Harmon. And he just issued a public statement on if Andy should be allowed to use your tax money to pay you for violating your rights. This is what Auditor Harmon said. Simply put, he, referring to Andy Bashir, has the personal wealth to pay the legal fees. And he should do so instead of taking away tax dollars that could be used to address real problems in Kentucky, like better roads and improving education. He made this decision. Now he should own up to it and pay the price. I know a lot of you patriots actually contacted the people up there in Frankfurt and said, hey, let's make this an issue. And we're seeing the Auditor Harmon, who's again, candidate for governor, he's come out publicly and he says, Andy should have to pay. However, one of our other candidates for governor, Mr. Daniel Cameron, the attorney general, he disagrees and he's come out publicly and said, no, uh, Andy Bashir should not have to pay and it's okay to go ahead and use tax money for this. Uh, these are two people both running for governor. This is what they have done publicly on this issue. And I thought everybody should know about that before election day. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about uh, elections. We, of course, there's lots of commercials going on out there. One person attacking another person. Uh, one person saying they're great and everybody else is a dirty skunk. Uh, so uh, the, here's just an example of every political commercial that we have seen this election season. This election, your choice couldn't be more important. Our candidate is in flattering lighting and full bright color. Their candidate is in grainy high contrast black and white. Spotted through a telephoto lens from behind a bush. Coming back from God only knows where. Our guy points at the horizon and holds a baby. Their guy doesn't have a baby. Their guy has a golf club. The voiceover for our guy is calm, measured, bright. Their guy gets the lower register. And sometimes we slow our guy has clean headlines and the beautiful lens flare America needs. Here's a scary graph over a photo of their guy awkwardly laughing. Snap zoom. Do you want a snap zoom like that in office? Here's a photo of our guy saluting military veterans. Jump cuts, flashes, static, aggressive colors. You can't trust a guy with graphics like this. Our guy gets stock footage of sunrises and an American flag. Their guy's flag is upside down and on fire. Intercut with overdue bills, war, and a crying baby. This election, the choice is yours. Their guy or our guy. Inspiring slogan. 
Well, isn't that about the truth of the matter? Every commercial says that their guy is great and the other person is the devil himself. Uh, don't base who you're going to vote on on some commercial. They can make them look like anything. Do your homework into these candidates. Find out where they stand, how they voted, if they have a voting record, who they've given money to. That's a big thing. And base your vote based on that and not a commercial. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to tell you this is who I'm voting for in this election cycle. And uh, if you want to vote for somebody else, I'm okay with that. All okay? right. Uh, I'm not going to uh, break fellowship with somebody just because they voted for somebody else. So if you want to vote for the people I'm voting for, great. If not, I will still be your friend. Uh, now, I want to give a warning to all of the people I am voting for, uh, and this is for any future candidates as well. If you will stick with conservative Christian constitutional principles, then I will be happy to stick with you. But the day that you give it away from Christian conservative constitutional principles, I must get away from you and support somebody else uh, because principle is the thing. Principle over personality, uh, principle is key, and let us vote on that. So here are the people I'll be voting for. First of all, in the governor's position, I counted it up. I think there is one and a half million people running for governor. Well, it sure seems that way. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the governor candidates, here's the different thumbnails for videos I've done on these candidates. Every single one of them has uh, good things about them and bad things about them. Uh, I want to keep uh, out of this particular one because there's so many of them running. Uh, vote for whoever you think would be best. Now, when it comes to the attorney general position, uh, I will be voting for Mr. Russell Coleman. And the primary reason for that is he's the only person in the primary. Yes, there's nobody else on the ballot for this particular job, uh, which is why we haven't examined that. Uh, when it comes to the general election in November, then we'll be looking into his background and his opponents. For the Secretary of State position, if you watch the program for more than three seconds, you will realize I do not like our current Secretary of State. Uh, there's two guys running against him. I know them both. I like them both, uh, both conservatives. But at the end of the day, you can only vote for one. So uh, I've decided that I'll be voting for Mr. Stephen Nipper. I think he is overall the best choice that we have and can really do a great deal to help clean up and secure Kentucky elections. Let's look at the uh, next, the state tr uh, treasurer position. Uh, for this, I'm supporting Mr. Andrew Cooperider. Uh, you may remember Mr. Cooperider was the guy who wouldn't close his business when Andy Bashir said he had to during the lockdowns. He took Bashir to court and he won. And he spent years and tens of thousands of his own dollars helping other Kentucky small business owners stand up for their rights. Uh, he put his money where his mouth is. And after being a successful conservative in business, now he's running for office, and that's the kind of person that I want. So I'm supporting Mr. Andrew Cooperider for the state treasurer position. For the state auditor position, this position is open. Uh, I am supporting Mr. Derek Petty's. And the reason for that is his opponent uh, is, has supported somebody who is one of the most, the most liberal, leftist, woke um, people that I've ever seen try to disguise themselves as a Republican. And if you are supporting that kind of an agenda and candidate, I can no longer support you. And it breaks my heart to say that. But uh, that's the matter. We don't want to have somebody supporting the leftist agenda. So I will be supporting Mr. Derek Petty's uh, in that particular race. When it comes to the last one on the ballot, that will be the Commissioner of Agriculture. Uh, we have two guys running. Again, this is an open position. Uh, I know both of these candidates. I like both of these candidates. I've known them personally for years. Uh, and I can't say anything bad about the one I'm not voting for. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can only choose one. And I've decided to vote for Mr. Richard Heath. Uh, I think he would be a wonderful commissioner of agriculture. So these are the people that I'll be voting for. Take it for whatever you think it's worth. If you want to vote for somebody else, that's okay with me. And I hope we can still be friends. Uh, if you got your friend, your neighbor is voting for somebody else, uh, don't break fellowship with them over that. Now, if they voted for a Democrat, you know, that'd be different. Uh, but this is a Republican primary. So uh, let's move ahead. Remember, Kentucky's motto is united we stand divided, we're going to fall. Remember, it is the left, it's the Democrats who keep trying to divide up uh, the United States into different groups and setting one group against another group. Uh, that's not the American way. Remember, America used to be the great melting pot. And what America is, what made it great was our unity, not our uniformity. And I hope you'll all remember that. And if your candidate doesn't win, just remember the words in the old Charlie Brown cartoon. Well, I can understand how you feel. You worked hard. 
But did you notice something, Charlie Brown? What's that? The world didn't come to an end. Yes, if you put in a lot of work and your candidate doesn't win, the world will not end. Well, that's what we have for this week. Next week, we'll be going over the results, talking about that, and uh, if anything screwy happened on election night. So make sure you tune in next and every week. And until next week, I'm Lee Watts for Patriot Point, reminding you that liberty is not a spectator sport.